course, it won't be the present First Minister that will be held uh, accountable when uh, the building starts and when the uh, unique protected landscape of the Gwent Levels is, is damaged, the ancient woodland, the nationally designated nature conservation sites. It won't be the, first, uh, the present First Minister that will be held uh, to account for when future generations face the adverse effects resulting from uh, the increased carbon emissions, making it, of course, more difficult for the government to meet uh, its own emission reduction targets. It won't be the present First Minister's capital budget that will be limited, or whose entire borrowing powers have been used. Uh, it's not the present First Minister who will have to explain to communities in other parts of Wales, consequently, why they uh, won't get uh, the fair share of capital investment that they were hoping for. Now, all of that will fall, of course, on the next First Minister. And who knows? The next First Minister may well have different priorities. Instead of spending the £1.4 billion on 14 miles of tarmac, uh, they, he or she may decide to use that money to realise phases two and three of the Metro. Uh, yes, OK, very briefly. I think it's only going, going, going to cost £1.4 billion. Well, I don't. I don't. And I'm glad that you reminded me of that. <laughs> Look at what else we could achieve uh, if, if it uh, uh, transpires to be much higher than that. We could build the Swansea Bay tidal lagoon and i know there'd be one person here who would be supportive of that um, we could bring all homes in wales up to a required energy efficiency uh, standards we could electrify 175 miles of train lines in wales now these are the projects that according to the future generations commissioner could be built using the money for the m4 and i commend the future generation commissioner's report uh, transport fit for the future which raises fundamental questions. It highlights, you know, that there are limitations to the modelling undertaken by the Welsh Government. The Black Route uh, would exacerbate many of the societal and environmental challenges facing Wales. And the Black Route is, a we um, is weak on the criteria set out in the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the Black Route is incompatible with the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act.